Hey everyone, here I want to talk to you about Ashes of War inside Elden Ring and how to change them and what they do. So they affect the skill on your arms that you've got, so be that a bow or, a, you know, whatever weapon or shield you've got. So here's an example. And the way I'm firing that out is using my skill button, which on the Xbox is the LT button, so the left trigger button. Um, now you can change the Ash of War if you collect new Ashes of War and then rest at a site of grace. You can do this with standard weapons, but not special weapons. So special weapons will have their own unique Ash of War that you cannot change. But for this one, this standard weapon, this cold forked hatchet, I can change the Ash of War on it. So I just go to it and I can select it like this and then I can pick a different one. So I've been playing the game for quite a while and I've discovered many different ones. So these are pretty simple ones. Um, spinning Slash, Sword Dance, Quick Step, Determination, Storm Stomp, Storm Caller. And if I want to use one of these, I can just go over to it and press the select button, which is A. And then there's different ways I can build it. There's affinity granted with these. And if you look on the right hand side, depending on which you use, you will have different perks. So the perks of these are changing depending on what I go for. So this one, for example, if I go for standard, it's going to give me a, the biggest jump uh, for the physical attack compared to the other ones. So in this case, um, it seems to work best with that. So we'll go with standard. So I've now changed the Ash of War, and if I come out now and fire that out, I've got a different Ash of War going on. So the Ash of War, as you can see, it negates your blue bar, your FP, which is your focus points. So you can't use it indefinitely, but you can use it a fair bit. So if you're interested in that, um, what you want to do is be pumping in, um, you're leveling up into uh, Mind will boost your FP. So the more Mind you have, the bigger the FP will go, the longer you can do those special moves. Um, so that's how it works. I, now I did say about um, special weapons as well. Oh, sorry, that's the map. Let me show you a special weapon. So I'll just equip one. So for example, the Sword of Night and Flame. Um, so this one has its own Ash of War, uh, which looks rather cool. Look at that. So it's like, it's got two modes. So it's got that one and that one. If you're interested in getting the Sword of Night and Flame, have a little look at my other videos. I show that in action. But if I rest at the site of grace and attempt to change the Ash of War on this, it'll go, no, you cannot. Are you mental? <laughs> it may not even give me the option. Does it? No, it doesn't. Look, see, it doesn't even show it as a possibility to change. So you just won't find them in there. Um, one thing I just want to point out is you can also change the hash, uh, the hash of war, <laughs> the ash of war on a um, shield, and sometimes this can be useful if you're interested in um, using a shield and a sword, but you still want access to your ash of war on your sword. Um, you can use a special ash of war once you discover it called no skill. So on this beast crester heater shield here, I have no skill as there. So when I hit the skill button, it doesn't use the um, shield skill. It uses my sword skill instead. Um, so that's very useful. Whereas if I use this one, this banished knight's shield, um, that's going to use this weird strike. Um, oh, sorry, that's got no skill. Uh, barricade shield. Actually, let's go with this one. Shield bash. So I'll just show you that just to clarify, because uh, I do think that's quite useful to know. Uh, so let's put a shield on. So we put this one on. So even though I have uh, the sword here, whoops, and the shield, if I do this, when I hit the skill button, the shield will automatically override the skill of the right one. The only way I can use the Sword of Night and Flame skill is to either unequip my shield, then I can use it, or equip a, a shield with no skill on it. So if I go here and I pick that uh, shield uh, and then apply it, it will put the shield. The it will put the shield on the back while I do the skill move and take the shield back off when I finish with the skill. Um, so that's quite useful to know. That's it, really. That's how Ashes of War work. In terms of uh, um, finding them, you'll find them all over the place and um, defeating certain enemies will drop them um, and certain characters will give you them or you might find them in chests or as drops on things um, but they're all pretty cool so um, I hope that was useful to you if it was give us a thumbs up please that's much appreciated any comments welcome and I'll see you again in another video if you like this sort of stuff have a little look at the rest of my channel I've got loads of different videos on Elden Ring uh, doing lots of tutorials uh, and if there's anything that you're struggling with that I don't cover already let me know I'll do my best to help